want to go fast spice? You should have seen Spice out there this morning. He was practically flying. I didn't have a stopwatch on me, but I probably guess about two years ago fast. Whoa. So wait, does that mean that you're thinking of training him again? Oh, no. Those days are long behind us. Plus, even if I wanted to, it's not like I can afford it. Still, exciting though. Yeah. So, is Coco ready for her lesson? All set. Come on. Now, shake your head like this. <laughs> Good, you're ready to go. Autumn? You ready for your first lesson? Mm -hmm. This is Coco, and she's very sweet, and she's very excited to meet you. Go ahead, she won't bite. Hi, Coco. It's nice to meet you. Hey. Hey. What's wrong? Nothing. Nothing? The horses and I can practically hear your frustration from the stables. Well, it's either I've gotten worse at math or the ranch is in even bigger trouble than I thought. That bad? Yeah, this place wasn't meant to be run by one person. It's too much. Don't panic. You'll figure something out. I'm not panicking. You are practically scrubbing a hole into the schedule. <laughs> well, it's filthy. It's fine. You're panicking. Maybe I could have a yard sale. That would totally bring in extra money. Get rid of some old junk. See, now nice. you're thinking. It's actually really productive that you clean when you're stressed. I don't clean when I'm... <sighs> Whatever, just help me. I think we can get three bucks for this thing. Oh no, we, we can't sell that. Ben got me this when we first opened the ranch. As what, a paperweight? As a joke. Oh, so it is useless. It's sentimental. If you keep putting stuff in that pile, we're gonna have nothing left to sell Autumn. Let's just not sell Ben stuff yet. Okay. a great lamp. Huh? The lamp? It's a good one. Three brightness levels. <laughs> Gave you eight dollars for it. It's a really nice lamp. How about 15? How about seven? No, you're supposed to go up. Actually, you know what? I really like this lamp, so I'm just gonna take it. Sir, seven would be perfect. <laughs> Mom! Look! A horse! Can we get it? I'm sorry, but that horse is just about the one thing not for sale. <laughs> Why don't you run inside and find something you can afford with your allowance? Sure. This is a beautiful property. Thank you. Uh, in case you're ever in the market to sell. Oh, uh, no. It's just I... something to think about. And this really is a it's gorgeous property. I could sell it in no time if you do decide to put it up. Thanks. Good to know. <laughs> I knew you had a big house, but right now, 
I think there's an echo. <laughs> it looks like uh, when Ben and I first moved in, people thought we were crazy for buying such a big property to fix ourselves, but there's something about this place. You know how you uh, can't get a song out of your head? Yeah, sure. It's kind of like that with this place. I just could not get it out of my head. You did an incredible job building a home, welcoming so many people into it. For a while, at least. Chloe, if the yard sale was to help keep the ranch afloat, why does it feel like I'm moving? Just wait and see how you did today. Before you make any decisions. Yeah. Someone tried to buy you today. Don't worry. You're in the sentimental pile. <laughs> Spice. How's it looking? Well, we did better than I thought we would. Sounds like there's a, a but coming. Even with the money we made today and the extra riding lessons, I can still barely cover next month's mortgage. Oh, Autumn, I'm sorry. I don't know how I let it get so bad. If I have to close the ranch, I feel like I'd be letting down Ben's memory. You listen to me, Autumn Carlisle. You and my son took a chance on this place when everyone told you not to take the risk. You followed your instinct then and created something really wonderful. Follow that instinct again now. It won't be easy by any stretch of the imagination, but maybe it's time to move on. Time to let this place go. Plus, it's high time you let me retire. I've got a life of my own to live. <laughs> I didn't realize I was keeping you. <laughs> well, there might be another option. I will not let you sell a kidney. I could start training again. Training? Is that something you want to do? Well, if it means keeping the ranch. Maybe if I hadn't taken a step back from training, I wouldn't be in this mess, but I... With Ben gone, I couldn't. It's what we did together, you know? I know. Thank you, Howard, for everything. We're family, Autumn. No matter what, no matter where, remember that, okay? What do you say, Spice? You want to get back into racing? <laughs> yeah, didn't think so. All right, batter's ready. Okay, perfect. Who wants chocolate chip and who wants blueberry? Can I have both? Mm, I don't <laughs> see why not. You have to teach me this perfect pancake recipe. Happy to. I've uh, thought about this a lot. And, and I've 
decided that I'm putting the ranch up for sale. I want you to know how thankful I am for all the years that we spent here together. I couldn't have done it without you. This has been a very hard decision to make, but I think it's the right decision. And I hope that you do too. We're so proud of you. We support you no matter what, Ami. Oh, you're the best. Now, these posts here, mm -hmm. what if we knocked them down? Don't you think there'd be more flow? Well, I believe that they're load-bearing. The house itself is OK, but I, I hate the paint color. Oh, that's easy to change. Wow. <laughs> <sighs> you know, is there any stipulation that I can't build the world's largest hay maze? Not to my knowledge. Um, might be a zoning issue. I just thought I asked you. Yeah, yeah, it's a fair question. Yeah, I know, totally. I didn't realize anyone else was in here. Oh, hey, I was uh, just having a look around. Are they are they yours? Mm-hmm. You're good with them. Do you ride? No, no. My uh, <laughs> my mom used to. She tried to teach me, but I uh, when I was a kid, I was just terrified of these guys. So big and ferocious. <laughs> They're not so scary. I guess they're smaller now. <laughs> he likes you. What's his name? Uh, that one is Coco. Mm -hmm. And uh, your name is? I'm uh, Jake Stevens. Autumn Carlisle. Of Carlisle Ranches. The one and only. So uh, tell me, Jake Stevens. Do you make it a habit wandering into other people's barns? <laughs> no. Yes, actually, yeah, I, I do. I'm in construction, so I wander into people's houses or barns all the time, professionally. Funny. I thought I knew everyone within a 20-mile radius that did construction. Oh. I'm not from around here. Where do you live? Oh, I just in and out of hotels. I kind of go wherever the job brings me. So the job took you to Millbrook? I was driving by. I saw the for sale sign, so I thought I'd stop in and check it out. This property is its beautiful. Thank you. It used to be a lot uh, livelier. You know, I've been wandering around all morning. I can't seem to get it out of my head. It's a funny thing to think about a property like that. That's not weird at all. This place was pretty worn down when we bought it, but I had the same feeling. So you remodeled this yourself? As a labor of love, to say the least. But now with everyone stomping around inside, talking about my terrible taste and this and that and brainstorming about which wall they're going to tear down to create the perfect flow. <laughs> Maybe it's just a house, but it's not just a house to me. It's my home. It's my whole life. You know, if this is my home or my life, I wouldn't change a thing. Good luck. Thanks. We 
we've had a few very competitive offers, some above asking even. I'd be happy to go over them with you or... Did someone named Jake Stevens make an offer? Uh, why, yes, it looks like he did. Was it competitive? It's not the winner of the group, but definitely in the game. I'll sell it to him. Do you want to take a couple of days to think about it, to look over the other offers? The horses liked them. I'm sorry, the horses liked him? <laughs> They're very perceptive. Of course they are. Plus, he never used the words fang or shui once. <laughs> Mr. Stevens, it is. Uh, after the deal closes, You'll have 30 days to move out. Wow. I can't believe this is really happening. So just... Third page? Right. Great. Can you start looking for potential buyers for me? The remodel won't take very long, and I'd like offers in early. Remodel? Yeah. Actually, it's not that extensive. We could probably sell just on the plans. You're flipping the property? I'd be crazy not to. And it's properties. It's way too big for one person. I'm going to split up the land into smaller plots and resell it. <sighs> I'm going to get a coffee. Do you want anything? Uh, no, I'm good. Thank you. Oh, hey, sweetie. Hi. How can I help you? Could I get a uh, triple macchiato in a to-go cup and uh, give me one of those chocolate donuts for here? Is your donut staying here while your coffee jets off to Spain? <laughs> no. No, I'm, I'm sitting right there. Coffee and a chocolate donut for here. Anything else? Yeah, I, um, sorry, I just, I really prefer a to-go cup. I, I see them right there. I can almost touch them. The to-go cups are for the to-going customers. Anything else? Yeah, do you, uh, you have any recommendations for a hotel around here? Nothing themed, please. Oh, you're the out-of-towner who's buying Autumn's place. <laughs> wow, news travels fast around here. We're tight-knit. And since Autumn's husband passed away, well, everyone's just a little bit protective of her is all. I, I didn't realize. Black coffee and a donut. Yeah, there's an inn over on Grove Street. Great. But it's usually booked. Thanks. you can do this. Maybe I can do this tomorrow. This would be a whole lot easier if you're here to help me.
Are you hungry, Spice? <sighs> Just one more minute. You know. Oh, morning, Autumn. I hope you don't mind. I brought my contractor along. Contractor? Hi. I'm Larry. Hey. Hi. So you're renovating? Just a bit. I thought you said you wouldn't change a thing. Well, you said this place needs some livening up. Mind if we poke around? Be my guest. Yeah, you know, if you were to tear this down, you would have a beautiful no. view from your porch. You can't tear that down. It's got the best view of the place. Well, the porch from the house has the exact same view. Yeah, but this is closer. To what? Nature. The porch is attached to the house, but right here, it's just you and the land. Well, couldn't you just stand here if you wanted to be closer? Because then you'd actually be on the land because you'd be standing on it. Listen, I understand that you're trying to get a jump start on things, make it your own. But while I'm here, let it be. Unless you want me to kick you off my property for the next 29 days, which legally I can do. I think this gazebo looks pretty good here, actually. Hmm. What do you think, Larry? Oh, yeah, it's, um, <clears throat> it's nice. It's very nice, it's very nice gazebo. Strange. I got offers from other ranches. To buy you out? No, to hire me as a trainer. They must have heard about the sale and assumed you were available. Well, I haven't trained a racehorse in years. What makes them think I still can? That's not something that just goes away. But you decided you didn't want to get back into training, right? Right. I said you were welcome on my property. I didn't say you can start construction on my property. The guys, they're just getting a few measurements. We're gonna be out of here in no time. They're not the ones I'm concerned about. You said you weren't gonna change a thing. I'm not. Really, I, I might put a hot tub in there. Never mind. I don't wanna know. I am going to say goodbye to this place and remember it as it is now in my memory forever. You know, places aren't meant to stay the same forever. Says who? Says me. I love showing up to new places and helping them raise their full potential. It's kind of the way that I leave my mark in this world. <sighs> okay. Well, you can walk around leaving your mark on everything, and I'll leave things as I found them, as they're meant to be. So you never carved your name at a desk at school? <laughs> Everybody did that. Right. And then the next person that sat there saw that it was different. Barely. But they looked at that name and thought, who's Autumn? I wonder what she's doing right now. They did not. Sure they did. She changed her life just a little bit because you left your mark. What on earth does this have to do with you installing a hot tub? Because everything here says Autumn. But a hot tub? That says Jake. <sighs> Hi, Autumn. Hey, Larry. Okay, so Jake, uh, the guys basically have everything they need now, so if you wanna come over and check it. Great. See? Out of your hair. <laughs> nice PJs, by the way.
thought about taking any of the offers? From the other ranches, I mean? Autumn. Autumn. So, I've been thinking about it, and uh, I decided last night I'm going to marry a toaster. That's great. Autumn, are you feeling OK? I'm sorry. I didn't sleep well last night. Jake showed up with the construction crew at the crack of dawn. Oof. Do you carve your name into stuff? Not regularly. But when you were a kid, that's something people do, right? Yeah, totally. Do you think that was your way of leaving your mark on the world? Mm, no, I'm pretty sure I just liked how my name looked. See? Normal. What in the world? Oh. oh. What? I said, what are you doing? Well, you've got to sand first before you can paint. I, I know, but why are you painting? Well, you made such a big deal about this gazebo. Thought I'd spruce it up for you. You know, you could even put a bench right there. I don't so want a bench. I don't want new paint. There's already too many changes. Just leave this one thing alone. Please? OK. Sure. Thank you. I have a student coming later. Stay out of our way. No fidgeting. I'm not. <laughs> so I've been thinking, I think you should take one of my training offers. What? Not a bait and switch or anything like that, but I would present you as an alternative. So you decided to turn them down? Oh, I'm not sure yet. Did I tell you that I thought about training again before I put the house up for sale? No. Yeah, the idea of starting from the ground up again, I don't know, it seemed overwhelming. And at one of these ranches, it would just be a day job, which would be a nice change, and I could board the horses for free. I don't know a lot of places I can go and do that. Yeah, they're not the easiest house guests. <laughs> Definitely not. All right, wait. What makes you think I'd even be a good trainer? Well, for starters, you're the reason I haven't broken down in the last two years, so I pretty much think you can do anything. So let's go find out. You've got this. Yes. Are we preparing for a race? Uh, we're thinking about it. Uh, Jake, this is Howard, Ben's father. Hi, Jake Stevens. Nice to meet you. And Likewise. And that is Chloe, an up-and-coming young trainer. Hi. Nice to meet you. So, what are you doing? Don't you have somewhere else to be? Well, that's much more fun. Go, Chloe! Go, Chloe! All right. Hey, kiddo. What can I get for you? Just a coffee to go. Oh, you're not sitting down today? No. No, I'm, uh, I'm on the go. 
Well, come back real soon. I think we can definitely section this off into its own property. Unless you think four units is gonna crowd it. Mm, not if you renovate the stable. Yeah. Right? Look, Larry, I think I got myself in a bit of hot water here. Well, we can't be over budget already. My guys haven't even started here, Jake. No, no, not, not with that. It's with Autumn, the owner, Autumn Carlisle. She thinks that I'm moving into the ranch. With her? No, no, no. She thinks I'm moving in the house after she leaves. Well, how come she thinks that? Well, I kind of let her. Hmm? I had a chance to tell her the truth, and I didn't. Because I was afraid if she found out, she was going to pull out of the sale. And we've already got a couple potential buyers, so I... <sighs> I just didn't. And it's just business, right? Yeah, of course, always. Well, what's the big deal then? Let her think that you're gonna move in. A month from now, don't move in. <laughs> Jake Stevens, you're everywhere today. Howard, hey, how are you? Uh, do you know Larry? Howard. Hi, Larry, nice meeting you. Are you staying in town? No, no, I'm, a, I'm at a motel off 44. Oh, that's a shame. There's a lovely little inn on Grove. Yes, I know. Barb told me. It's only got three rooms. <laughs> wow. Refill? Ah, uh, yes, please, thank you. Oh, can I have uh, a little bit more, too, please? I'm gonna need you to lift the lid. Of course. Thank you, Barb. Hey, hon. Hey. This is a cute town, Howard. Do you guys get much tourism around here? Not much. Maybe they know we have no place to put them. Shame. It's really something to look at when the leaves change. Don't the leaves change everywhere? Oh, not like they do here. If we had the infrastructure, I bet this town would be one of those places that people would come back to year after year. As is, if you fall in love with the place, you're just going to have to up and move here. But you'll know all about that. Uh, speaking of, I'll see you back at the ranch, I'm sure. Nice meeting you, Larry. Nice meeting you too, Howard. Have a good day. See ya, Howard. Well, anyways, if you want to put it in four, I mean, that's fine. That's 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 doable. That's a good idea. Hello, Jake. What? You wanted to yeah. cordon this off in four? Right. That's fine. I I mean, I I don't disagree. I don't know if I exactly agree. If I help, go ahead. So I was wondering, what would you possibly want with the ranch if you know nothing about horses? I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. All I know is that when I came by the open house, I saw potential. I thought the same thing when I first saw this place, too. I think I'd like to turn that stable into a wood shop. Just the way it looks out over the field there. That's something. We're going to furniture all day looking at that. Good luck getting that wet horse smell out. Wet horse smell? Yeah, it's like a wet dog smell, but worse. Because horses are huge. Oh, I didn't realize. Thank you. I'm sorry for bringing up your irrational childhood fear. Oh, you remembered. I still can't believe you've never ridden a horse. Have you seen a horse? They're terrifying. 
I practically learned how to ride before I learned how to walk. Wow. Adventurous since the beginning. Maybe you could teach me how to ride sometime. I don't think I'm that good of a teacher. Um. Hey, you, you missed a spot. What? Right there. So the bathroom is just down the hall to the left. But you already know that because this is your house now. So. Huh. Clean yourself up, I see. I don't have any to-go cups, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, you know my pal Barb. Everybody knows Barb. I heard Howard a... Uh... A thing? Yeah. Yeah. Ben's mother died when he was a kid. Howard and Barb started seeing each other about a year ago, maybe? And Ben? He passed away two years ago. I'm sorry. Thank you. It's okay. The hardest part is just letting go of the idea of the life that we were building. Because it did not go as planned. Life never really does, but it's just hard. Yeah. I've been thinking about what you were saying, about not intentionally putting your mark on things. You have? Uh-huh. When you got this place, it wasn't fixed up, right? Correct. And you didn't do a thing to it, because you saw potential. When Ben and I first got married, I had this crazy idea of turning this place into a horse ranch because that's what I always wanted to do. Well, you must have done well. I've seen the trophies in the house. We did. Spice was well on his way to becoming one of the greats. <laughs> but horses are like mirrors that uh, reflect whatever you're feeling, but amplified. So when Ben got sick, You ever think about getting back into racing? I feel weird talking to you about this. You don't need to know about me and the ranch. I barely know anything about you other than the fact that you're in construction. Well, I do general carpentry as well. And I've always really enjoyed work with my hands. A natural born rancher. <laughs> I think you've got to teach me how to ride a horse first. That'll be my parting gift. Your job must be hard. You're always in and out of hotels. I mean, what do you get out of it? You now, I have a collection of over 2,000 miniature hand soaps. You're lying. No, nope, across my heart. Do you even use any of it? No, no, it's, just, it's a collection. It's like stamps. Oh, but they're lavender scented. Exactly, yeah. I can live like that. Goodbyes are way too hard. The last weekend of sleepaway camp, I always refused to get into my parents' car until every camper had left. Wait, you just sit there and watch all your friends leave? One by one. That sounds awful. It was. But uh, those summers were my absolute favorite. I didn't want to get into my parents' car because I knew that it would mean that moment was over and I could never get it back then you'd never know what the next moment would be. I guess I never really thought of it like that. The ranch, that was a great moment. I just wish it could have lasted longer.
uh, head our way. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. oh, perfect. I told you she'd be here any minute. I am so sorry. I must have lost track of time. I never do that. That's OK. Jake here's been helping Maddie feed the horses. This one's Chestnut, right? She's my favorite. Well, let's get on Chestnut, then. Thank you. Let's go get your helmet. Hmm? Um, Autumn, can Jake come riding with us? Oh, uh, uh, Jake doesn't know how. Wow, she says that like everyone's born with some innate ability or something. But you're a great teacher. Maybe you could teach him? I am a great teacher. <laughs> OK, let's go. Wait. Well, how good a teacher are you? OK, one, two, two three. three. OK, hold on tight. All right. Whoa, it's really high up here. Okay. Left to go left. Yeah. Right to go right. And then straight back to stop. Piece of cake. Maddie, do you want to show Jake how we sit? Uh, back straight, knees in, heels down. All Great. right. Lead us out. Whoa, whoa, lead us, lead us out. That, that's it? That's the lesson? Autumn believes in learning by doing. Mm-hmm. Follow Maddie, you'll be fine. Yeah. Put some pressure on your legs. Right to go right, left to go left. Right. Straight back to stop. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> it's all in the hips. Right. Pretty fast. <laughs> oh, geez. my horse is taking the lead. <laughs> Coco knows where she's going. But I don't. This is a secret spot, OK? So you have to keep it a secret. Sure. Actually, actually no. No, you, you guys should bring people up here. What? Yeah, well, uh, everybody in town loves the ranch. Why not invite them up here? Like, for a party? I was thinking, like, a romantic sunset tour ride. Ew. <laughs> or, yeah, sure, a party. You could rent it out to weddings. I don't know. I just didn't. Seems like a shame to waste this view. Well, you could do both or either if you want. And you're right. It was a beautiful spot for a wedding. as far as they go. I don't know what it is about that man. Yeah. Is this better? I guess so. <laughs> All right. I like him. I haven't seen her laugh like that since. I was thinking the same thing. She did great today, Mrs. Heller. And again, I am so sorry for being late. I, I don't know what happened. It's OK. You have a lot on your plate. Did you take a look at the list of stables that I suggested? Yes, thank you. She'll start at Bedford in two weeks. Oh, I'm happy to hear that. Uh, I don't want you to leave. Oh. Bedford is a great stable, Maddie. 
You'll see. You will like the teachers even more than you like me. Come on, Maddie. You'll see Autumn next week. Bye. You, uh, really saved me earlier. Oh, that, that was nothing. Well, whatever it was, thank you. So, uh, how was your first writing experience? It was absolutely terrifying. <laughs> but Maddie's right, you're an excellent teacher. Well, you're not, uh, so bad yourself. Not so bad, I'm amazing. Oh! <gasps> I got Coco to walk the entire way. You, you understand how hard that was, right? Oh, yeah. She only stopped to graze about, uh, 30 times? Actually, I would say it was closer to 40. Mm -hmm. So that's got to be some kind of world record right there. And, you know, if you were 12, that would have been an excellent first lesson. Yeah, my mom is going to be so proud of me when I tell her. Hmm. You're going to call her right now? Yeah. Yeah, I think I am. Huh. OK. I'm not kidding. She, she is going to be proud. You'll see. Hey, Mom, hey. It's Jake. What? No. Nothing's wrong, Mom. No, I... I meant this thing. Yeah. yeah. I do not like him. It's not just you. This whole place has been a whole lot smilier since he showed up. I have no idea what you're talking about. Plus, with the sale and everything, it's too complicated. Even though it has been nice having someone to help out again. Which, of course, he's doing because it's his house. You see? Complicated. You know, if he's in the business of fixing stuff, you might as well get him to do something about this drip. I'm not gonna put him to work on my house. Ah, I thought it was his house. So why did you get into construction? My dad was always a tinkerer. He was always inventing these weird and interesting contraptions. And as a kid, we moved around a lot. So it kind of became a constant to start working with him, a wrench. And then I, well, I never stopped. You're pretty handy, huh? Mm, I like to think so. How did that happen? Growing up on a farm, you kind of learn out of necessity. There's always more stuff that needs fixing than people or time to fix it. So I just learned my way around a toolbox. You just draw the line of plumbing, huh? No, I, I could do that. I just didn't want to. <laughs> Here, let me help you. Thanks. Yeah. No problem. I put some extra chocolate in the croissants today. Oh. Surprise! Howard oh, love it. <laughs> Howard does love his chocolate. This looks good. They yeah, sure do. Hey. Coffee. Hey, here you go. I need some extra cheese in mine. Yeah, I want extra chives. Okay. Oh. Am I interrupting something? Not at all. Everyone's welcome. He is welcome. Right? Yeah. He's welcome. What's going on? A Sunday morning breakfast. A little tradition here at the ranch. 
Every Sunday? Like clockwork. Grab some eggs. Make yourself an omelet. Sure. This was nice. I can't remember the last time I had a home cooked meal like this. Mm, it was good. Hey, do you want to go for a walk with me? And the horses? With me and the horses. That would be nice. Great. Coco. Cool, cool. <laughs> huh. You're doing great. Okay. Oh, oh. Oh. No, one back. That's an interesting move. No, I just wanted to go that way. Whoa, Coco. Okay. Oh, back on track. You ready? Back on track. <laughs> this is great. So what do you think? It's beautiful, huh? <laughs> I'll uh, have to show you all my secret spots before I leave. You know, I don't think that I have ever been in a place long enough to find all its best spots. <laughs> <laughs> Why did your family move so much? My dad. He was always moving from one job to another. Ah, uh, so the apple doesn't fall far from the tree, does it? <laughs> I guess not. Look, Autumn, I, uh, I need to tell you something. I never... What's up? Look, when we first met, uh, it was just briefly in the stables. I remember. I never thought that this place would be so wonderful. Or that you would be so... I thought you would be so. I've got to go. I remembered I have a writing lesson this afternoon. Wait. I'm, I'm sorry. What? Hi, Blackwell Stables. Hi, um, it's Autumn Carlisle of Carlisle Ranch. I, I got a letter. Oh, you sent. <laughs> Great. Wednesday afternoon works. Okay, I'll see you then. Thanks. What's wrong? Nothing. How did you... When Ben's mom passed away, how did you move on? I didn't. For a long time. I was so focused on making sure Ben was okay. And then I got used to it being the two of us. One day I woke up. Ben had grown. 
and I realized I'd put my entire life on hold. But how did you get from there to here? Put yourself out there, make yourself vulnerable, only to get left again? No, Autumn, men didn't leave you. I see him every day in the way that you smile, in your sense of humor, in the way you have with horses. Ben may not be here anymore, but he's always with us. It was when he met you that I realized what I'd been missing, that I'd been going through the motions of life without really living it. I know what you mean. Take it from this old fart. <laughs> That's not living. I just can't imagine not loving him anymore. <laughs> you don't have to. You, Miss Carlyle, have a very big heart. And for the past couple of years, I've watched you make those around you whole again. But you forgot to do the same thing for yourself. One day you'll wake up and you'll put one foot in front of the other just like every other day. Except this time you'll realize you're ready to let someone make your heart whole again. Just don't wait 20 years like I did. You sign this, and lot one of the ranch is officially off your hands. And already showing a major profit. You are quite the businessman, Mr. Stevens. What if I want to change the plan? You mean, like, move the hot tub over? No, not quite. If I don't sign this, is it too late to back out of the sale with Autumn? Or at least back out halfway? I don't understand. Right. I want to go into business with her. I want to build a bed and breakfast. But you flip houses. Yeah, well, I don't want to flip this one. Ever since I walked into this house, I just, I can't get it out of my head. And I've seen the way Autumn does business. Yeah, she's struggling financially, but she's incredible. Everyone loves her. Clients, her employees. Just, her business is too small for this big piece of land, but this, I think this is the business I can save her. Have you talked to Autumn about this? No, well, not yet. I just, I guess I wanted to see if it was possible first. I, I can't see why not. It would be a different kind of sale. I could draw up some paperwork, talk to Autumn, let me know. My next stop. Thank you. Hey, Barb, thanks for the coffee. Running errands in town. Is there anything I can help you with? Uh, no. Thanks, though.
Jake? Hey. Hey. <laughs> We're uh, buying grass seed. Yeah, I kind of let the horses ruin the luck. Don't want to leave it all a mess for the next guy. <laughs> well, lucky for you, I hear the next guy is pretty handy. Really? Oh, where'd you hear that? Well, news travels fast in a small town. So are you going to get anything, or...? Yes, yeah. <laughs> Here it is. Yeah. Finally. <laughs> yeah. Hey, um, do you mind putting some of these up with the others? Sure, no problem. Thanks. Sunset tours. Well, that uh, sounds like a good idea. That's uh, my farewell tour. Thank you. Hey, wait, would you, um, um, have dinner with me tonight? I've got another business proposition I want to talk to you about. I'll cook. Uh, most of my kitchenware is already packed. So we'll do something simple. OK. Actually, I, I, I can't go. I, I... Never mind. Dinner's great. All right. Great. I'll see you tonight. OK. Cool. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, uh, Blackwell Stables. Hi, it's Autumn Carlisle. Um, I'm afraid something's come up and I'm not going to be able to make it today. OK, thank you. out in the sky. Please be good. For once, I actually have something to get ready for tonight. Storm. What are those horses talking about? Pickens. It is a business meeting. Hope you don't mind, the door was unlocked, so I just let myself in. Oh, no, I, I knew you were coming. Oh, I, I got you these. I thought this was a business meeting. Oh, I just, I thought it'd be nice, so... Thanks. Wow, you look... Clean? Beautiful. <laughs> it's amazing what a lack of mud will do to a person. Mm -hmm. Uh, seems like it's gonna rain out there. Funny, the horses said that too. Uh, they were nervous, which usually means it's gonna rain. Mm -hmm. They're very perceptive. Right, so I hear. 
So what are you going to make? Pasta. Oh, okay. That is, if you still have some pots and pans out. Uh, yeah. <coughs> Which one? Both. Tell me about this uh, business proposal. Oh, we'll get to that. Right now, we have to make dinner. We? You said you were going to cook. Yeah. And I need a sous chef. So, cut these tomatoes. Okay. So just leave that for 10 minutes. Wow. I guess the horses were right about the storm. So, when you stopped racing, did you ever think of doing something else with the ranch? Um, I boarded other horses for a while, and then I started giving riding lessons, which I hadn't done before. Right, no. I think I meant something totally different. Like the world's largest hay maze? What? <laughs> Never mind. I guess I was always kind of horse-minded, that was the dream, you know? No, I know you always do what's best for the horses, but yeah, I've seen you with people, and I think there's something so much more that you can do with that here. I don't know that there is. You know, when we first built the ranch, I felt like I could do anything. Then I lost Ben, and the possibilities kept getting farther and farther away. This place is too big for one person. It's exhausting trying to keep up. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I, I couldn't imagine losing somebody like that. I couldn't either. Do you, do you ever want to find love again? Get back on the horse, as they say. Do you? Not necessarily get back on the horse, but get on it at all. What makes you think that I've never been on it? Mm, sounds like you're never in a place long enough to do that. I was engaged once. Really? Yeah, to my college girlfriend. Why'd you break up? Well, I just, I started traveling more with work. Ah, she wasn't a mini soap fan. Mm, no. She was a fan of my roommate. She fell in love with him instead. Seriously? Mm hmm We've been married six years now. I think they just had their second baby. That sounds awful. I'm sorry. No, no, it's, that's fine. I wasn't ready. And we're actually, we're much closer now than we were then. Do you think you'll ever get back on the horse? Do you want to? Yeah. I'd like to find that true love. I think I want that again, too. OK. 
Okay. <sighs> right. Now, where were we? Uh, true love, moving on, staying put. Right, all the easy stuff. This is easy. What's that? Talking with you. Autumn, I need to tell you something. Ah. One second, sorry. Hello? Hey, are you all right? I tried calling the house. Yeah, the power's out. Figures. You have a flashlight, candles, canned goods? Yep, I'm all set, and Jake's keeping me company. Actually, that's why I called. Barb has something to tell you. Hi, sweetie. It's about Jake. He's flipping the ranch. He bought the place to split off into pieces. He's not sticking around, Autumn. He's selling to the highest bidder. Uh, that's not possible. I just saw him talking to the real estate agent this morning. I'm sorry, sweetie. I thought about not telling you, leaving it be. Um, thank you for letting me know. Stay safe, okay? I, I will, thank you. You too. Jake, why have you been so helpful lately? Fixing this and that, offering me business ideas? I'm moving out in a week, it doesn't make sense. I'm glad you brought this up, actually, because this is what I've been trying to tell you. About your flipping my property? What? No. That's what you're doing, isn't it? No, it's not, I swear. That's why you bought my ranch. To do exactly what you always do, which is come in, make it better, and then take off. I... It is so obvious now, I can't believe I didn't see it. Look, it was what I was gonna do at first, but... I, I don't want that anymore. I want to stay here with you. You don't know anything about me. Autumn, wait. Where are you going? To check on my horses. Autumn, wait. Come back. Hey, hey, boy. Hey, it's just a little bit of noise. I know, it's loud. Hey, can you uh, get me a blanket, please? Here, just, just be careful, okay? Okay, I'm just gonna put this on you, okay, boy? Listen, Autumn, I'm sorry I didn't tell you. I, I was planning- Jake, look! We will be out of here in less than a week, so just leave us alone till then! Did you sleep here last night? Yeah. My horses were afraid of the storm. So, where's Jake? I don't want to talk about that yet. Oh, no. Guess that means your date didn't go too well. It wasn't a date. He's flipping the ranch. I'm gonna turn it into a bunch of smaller houses. What? Why? Business. I. I want to get out of here.
Why would he hang out here so much if he never planned on sticking around? I have no idea. I try to wrap my head around it all night. Peep. Donate. I can't imagine a stranger living in my house. Mm, that is weird to think about. It won't be recognizable when Jake's done with it, but still. When I thought that he was going to be living here, felt like I was leaving the ranch to a friend. Someone to take care of it or something. I know it sounds stupid. No, it doesn't. It's just four walls and a plot of land. You know that it's much more than that. To us. Speaking of, can you take care of the horses this weekend? Anything you need. Why? Uh, I'm going to drive up to some ranches, check out some stables and some living quarters. Should have done that ages ago, but for a while there, felt like I wasn't actually going to leave. Yeah, I know what you mean. Oh, shoot. Maddie has a lesson on Saturday. Don't worry about it. Are you sure? Yes. Now, go and see what your future has in store. I hear it's big and fancy. Mm, state of the art. Keep. OK, are you sure you're good with me leaving? Go on. Have fun. I got this. OK. Call me if you need anything. I'll be fine. You train me well, I promise. OK. Thank you. I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. See ya! What are you doing here? Where's Autumn? I'm not at liberty to say. Hey! Stop helping! Put that down or I will sick this horse on you. She's vicious. When's Autumn coming back? Monday. Can I say? Of course, you love me. Traitor. Come on. This is nice. doing? He is building his way into Autumn's heart. I hate to break it to you, Chloe, but I'm pretty sure he's already there. You know, for a little girl, you're very perceptive. <laughs> Come on, let's go shut that up just now.
all. Right. Here. We don't have any to go. go. cups. Yes. I, uh, I was made aware. Why are you doing this? Well, because I, uh, <laughs> it's just, I, uh, yeah, I kind of thought you might. I'm sorry, I know I promised not to touch the gazebo, but I also know how much it means to you. I couldn't leave it the way it was. I used the same wood, I painted it the same color that it was. What I is used... Carlisle Bed and Breakfast? Chloe found your building plans. <laughs> that was my business proposition. Autumn, you can't close the ranch. It makes so many people happy, but especially you. And you're right, it, it's, it's too big for one person. So what, you're just gonna move yourself in? Well, I, I mean, I was just gonna ask first. <laughs> Listen, I can't replace Ben. And I'm not asking to. But I just see how kind and generous you are with all the people here and i got this crazy idea that we could open up a bed and breakfast because you love hotels so much you want to open your own no because you're kind and you're smart and because i want to build something with you i can't be the reason why you leave your home but you lied to me i just thought it was better business so why come clean now why not just build your own B&B &B and not split the profit? Because it isn't just business for me anymore. If I do this, and I'm not saying I will, but if I do, how do I know that you'll stick around? Because I see potential. And for the first time in my life, I want to see this through. Whether we're business partners or friends or whatever else. I've got you stuck in my head, Autumn. You're stuck in my Oh, yeah. 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 Oh,